It, it, it's, co it's February. It's supposed to be cold in February. <laughs> it, it just seems like that uh, everything is kind of uh, thrown off course. That was Sibley Nature Center's Jack Nickel explaining why we may be having more odd encounters with local wildlife with an early spring predicted by Punxsutawney Phil. There's a good chance more to come. Here's Hunter Alcacer. So far, it's been a warmer February than usual out here in West Texas. While some of us humans might be happy to get a break from the cold, for animals it may be a different story. Well, one of the things that uh, I noticed uh, more than anything else is it just seems like that the uh, natural cycles uh, that I'm accustomed to seeing when seasons, you know, ran their courses, it seems like uh, many of these natural cycles are, are, are kind of uh, interrupted or out, somewhat out of sequence. The transition from cold to warm weather usually starts later, but Nichols says that because it's getting warmer earlier, animals could be affected negatively. We're having some abnormally warm weather for February, and so uh, normally when a lot of uh, types of animals would be, still be uh, uh, holed up or, or not quite as active, well here it's, it's warm weather again, there, then there may or may not be enough food for them to, to start eating. There is also the chance that the behavior of some species could be affected as well. A lot of this has to do with the, the amount of daylight as well, because it's going to affect cycles, but uh, certainly temperatures do too. Uh, but it might affect uh, the timing of, of uh, some type of bird migration, uh, you know, things like that. They might be migrating a little bit early. Nichols says that smaller animals like insects, reptiles, and rodents will probably be going back and forth between being active and inactive depending on the temperature. In Midland for News West 9, I'm Hunter Alcacer.